Hello guys, Roby here, and today we'll be looking at the Palladius, uh, Palladius and um, Necromus boss fight and how to make the fight a lot easier than in normal arrays. Now the main issue with this fight is that you're not fighting just one, but two legendary pals at the same time, and these guys pack a punch. They have abilities that can almost one-shot if you're not careful. Now, um, for this fight, the two pals I'll be using will be the Jet Dragon I got from the previous video on how to get that Jet Dragon made easy, and also the Frostalon I got from the video before that. Now, as usual, for this kind of fights, I always recommend using legendary weapons. Give me a second here, let me re equip my stuff. Okay, and the reason why I always recommend using legendary weapons is because of the increased stats from them and you can get legendary weapons from farming legendary schematics from specific bosses i have a video for that too if you want to take a look at it now the reason is why i prim primarily recommend using the rocket launcher is because it staggers pals when you hit them and for boss fights that stagger ability where they topple over and are temporarily dazed is extremely important it helps keeps the fight a lot more manageable than they usually are. And so, those are the two boss piles over there. I'll go ahead and get off my um, Frost Dragon and start the fight. Now, also be careful too, because I died, uh, I've died through this before. When you're fighting these guys, try to stay away from where the trees or the rocks are. Because as the fight ensues, this three, the trees and rocks will get damaged and if you walk over them it's going to pick it up and get you encumbered and you're able to move and that just makes it easy for the boss to just take you out okay and so i'll get off my mount now and we'll go ahead and get started now during this fight also keep your head on the swivel you will always want to know where the bosses are positioned because you always want to make sure that you are accounting for where they are in regards to the damage output and stuff like that now let your pal take most of the brunt of the damage itself your pal can take a lot better than you can see that's one of those moves that's talking about that you gotta be extremely careful about now the reason is why I'm taking care of Necromos first is just a, a matter of preference is because he has a very very annoying charge ability that can stun well not stun but lock in place oof I missed that now if you are in this in a position or in a state where you're almost dead call your power back and get on its back to get a little bit of um, time to reposition yourself and get some help back. Now one thing to note with the um, rocket launcher is that even though it staggers and it's pretty powerful it takes forever to load. The reloading animation is pretty lengthy. Now, one other thing to keep track of is that um, you always also want to make sure that if you take them too far away from where their spawn points are, they will return. That's the move over there that you got to be careful for, so your rolling game better be on point. And Necromus is just about done. Ooh, that hurts. 
Okay, Necromos is down. Now it's just one, which is uh, Palladius. And just take your time. And I just got frozen. And once it's just once it's down to just one bus, the entire fight becomes extremely manageable. Sometimes the um, rocket launcher reload animation gets stuck when it does that. Just uh, try to fire and then press X and it will resume back again. And so as I promised, let's switch to Frostalion. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Gotta be careful with that move there. It can kill the boss at times. No, it didn't kill it this time. And just a little bit more and Palladius is toast. And sometimes when you stagger them, you can literally interrupt the boss's um, ability there. And there we go, that's it. And that's the fight right there. Both um, Palladius and Necromus are down. Let's see, I did not get schematic from them this time. I'm doing this run. Now, Palladius and Necromus drop the um, heat and cold legendary schematic armor. Let's see, this is what I was talking about. Being careful with items around you. Let's see what's weighing me down. It's not the wood. I'll just throw this down. Throw this away. Throw this away. And let's pick up the rest of the stuff. Nope, I did not get um, the schematic this time either. But that's it, guys. That's the fight in general. Rocket launchers are your best friend to make the fight go a whole lot easier. And that's it. Uh, Ruby out. You guys have a good day.